guys, today I will tell you about Basque Country. Basque Country is an autonomous community in the northern Spain. They include all the three Basque provinces of Alava, Biscay, and Guipuzco. Basque Country was granted autonomous status in 1978. Okay, if you look the map of Spain, the Basque Country is located here. And the capitals of the three Basque provinces are Bilbao, Vitoria and San Sebastian. Okay, let's go to watch my video. The autonomous community Basque Country has own language. It's called Euskara. This language has nothing to do with European languages and is a linguistic isolate in relation to any other living language in the world. The Basque alphabet uses the Latin alphabet. Basque is considered to be one of the few surviving pre indo european languages in Europe. Of course, the residents speak Spanish and they will be speaking English with you as a tourist and only in Euskara among themselves. The Basque country is considered a rich region of Spain with a high standard of living, but also with very high taxes. Like the rest of the north, the territory is very green due to the abundant rainfall. In the municipality of Bermeo, between Cape Machicaco and Bacchio, there is a stretch of coastline where land and sea fight each other, where the sea shows its power in caves and natural wells, and the land swim, leaving small islands of solid reefs. In the head of this place is San Juan de Gastelugachi. San Juan de Gastelugachi is a peninsula-shaped rock in the middle of the Cantabrian Sea, on which stands a small church dedicated to San Juan, which can be reached by 241 steps. San Juan de Gastelugachi became a popular destination for tourists after filming one of the plots of the famous TV series Game of Thrones. Now let's look deep into the province of Biscay. This castle is called Petronsky and it seems to be lost in time and space. Access to the castle is absolutely free. It is surrounded by forest on all sides and it does not seem at all that such a fabulous beauty has an owner. The castle dates back to the Middle Ages. It looks like a fairy tale, inspired by the models of Bavarian castles and was created as a hobby for its owner and creating something visually exciting, not for real residents. In November 2005 the building was Accrued by Inbitsa Gruppo Empresarial for 1,629,000 euros, but it remains under the general protection of Spanish law for historic buildings. If you come to Basque Country, be sure to visit the old capitals of the province of the autonomous community. The city of Vitoria is the capital of the province of Alava and the unofficial capital of the Basque Country. It is the first Spanish municipality to be awarded the title of European Green Capital in 2012 and was also recognized by the UN as the Global Green City Prize in 2019. The city of San Sebastian Danostia is the capital of the province of Guipuzcoa. 
Every year the International Film Festival takes place here. The history of the city began in 1181. Bilbao is the capital of the province of Vizcaya and the second largest industrial region after Barcelona. The Guggenheim Museum is its main attraction. This five-star hotel Marques de Riscal is located in the Alava, province of the Basque Country. The hotel owns vineyards located around and its own wine factory. The architect of the hotel is Frank Gehry, who also designed the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao. Basque Country, in the north of the Iberian Peninsula, this is a completely another Spain, so different and so beautiful.